everyone, this is Victoria from T Acoustic and in this video we'll dive into the basics of acoustics. You will learn about early reflections and how to treat them, the first reflection point as well as modes. Let's go! Early reflections, short ER, normally give your brain the information about the size of a room, but are also an acoustic problem that's especially relevant in the control room. Early reflections reach your ears with a slight delay after being reflected maybe once or twice from the walls, ceiling or floor of your listening space, and they overlap with the direct sound you hear and discolor it. So even the best studio monitor speaker can deliver its full potential under those circumstances. That phenomena is called the comp filter effect. The acoustic treatment of a room does not typically aim to completely eliminate all sound reflections. The goal is to guide and to control them in order to avoid the issues we just explained. The goal is to prevent strong reflections in the listening position. Therefore, they must be deflected or reduced. You can do basic acoustic planning without complex calculations. Just imagine that flat surfaces are mirrors and sound is light. So angled walls and ceiling as well as various materials help to prevent or deflect reflections. So the listening position becomes a reflecting free zone, short RFZ. The first reflection point is the most perceptible and most disturbing echo in a room. It's the first sound you hear after the direct sound from your speakers and it can confuse the listener's ears because it adds extra information to the original sound and makes differentiated listening impossible. Obviously, we already treated our studio, but for demonstration purposes, we'll show you the technique again. So, how do we find and treat the first reflection point? After you have set up your table and your monitors correctly, sit at your mixing position. Take a small mirror and ask a colleague to help you. Your colleague must now walk along the wall with the mirror at the same height as your ears. As soon as you see the left speaker from your mixing position in the mirror, you have found the first reflection point. Mark this spot and place the first absorber in the middle, then do the same on the other side of the wall. Early reflections cause the most problems in the mid and high frequency ranges. In the low frequency range, the light analogy doesn't apply because the wavelengths are much longer and some low frequencies fit partially or entirely between two parallel surfaces in a room, so they lose energy more slowly and linger around a little bit longer. The technical term for such a frequency is mode. The goal is to prevent modes from overlapping in important places in the room, such as the listening position. Use bass traps to achieve a broadband attenuation in order to prevent low frequency buildups or cancellations. We hope this video gave you some useful information and you're now ready to set up your control room. Thanks for watching, see you next time and bye bye!